In fact, unfortunately, somebody took a photograph of me at a party recently with some of my clients. I, I just got one of them off, mm -hmm. and it was quite a big trafficking charge, and we were having a party. Yes. And um, they took a photograph. Somebody took a photograph of me. I don't know who it was. Mm -hmm. um, and I was snorting cocaine. Right. And I'm really concerned about that photograph mm -hmm. um, and what it's going to mean to my career. Right. Right. And can you just tell me a little bit about your firm and your position within the firm, Natalie, please? Um, yeah. Well, I'm, it's, it's my own firm. These are my clients. I have a few associates, but basically it's my firm. I've, I've built it up over the past 10 years and... Yes. It's been, um, for a time, pretty successful. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot of clients. I've actually got more clients than I know what to do with. Yeah, um, which is good in this economic climate. But <laughs> not really, actually, because my practice is pretty much going down the toilet oh. because I, I've got so many clients. Um, but I need the money, mm -hmm. you see. I need the money because the partying is quite expensive that I do. Right. So I've um, used a lot of a lot of client money to fund um, my lifestyle. Right. I see. When when you say your practice is going down the toilet, could could you just sort of explain? I mean, normally having a lot of clients is good for us as solicitors. Yeah. But I've got a lot of clients, and I charge them a lot of money because you know I'm quite good when I'm firing on all cylinders. I'm pretty good. Right. Um, but lately. Uh, the partying has been getting in the way right. a little bit too much and mm -hmm. uh, sometimes the clients aren't getting quite the support mm -hmm. that they should right. have mm -hmm. um, and I've taken some funding that mm -hmm. um, I've already spent but not done a lot of work on the case. I see, right, I see. and. Um, Tell us a little bit about this drug trafficking charge and what happened um, with that. Well, it's a client that I've had for a long time. We're good, good friends, actually, yes. and um, I got him off. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, we had a party, which is what we do. Yeah. Um, d describe the party for us. Well, it was it was him, some of his business associates. Um, uh, me, just I mean people that people that we know through through his line of work. Yeah, um, just a big party. At, he's got quite a quite a big home, and we were um, kicking back, having a few drinks and some fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't know anybody took a photo, but somebody no. must have. Right, right. Um, and um, how do you know somebody took a photo? I got it in the mail. Right. And, and when this photo arrived in the mail, what else was there? Uh, it came with a note, and it suggested, um, it, didn't, it just suggested, it said it outright, I have to get another client of mine, Sammy Smith, off, right. or else. Right. And have you um, done anything in response, in response to that um, Photograph and note that you had. Panicked. Yeah. Um, have, have you spoken to anyone else no. about it? No. No. Mm -hmm. I've locked it in a in a drawer in my office. It's, oh. I haven't shown it to anybody. And when did you receive that? Two days ago. Two days ago. Right. Um, can I just take you back a bit? You were telling me that you've been spending a lot of money on partying. Yeah. And that money has come out of the firm? Come out of uh, retainers from clients that I've taken on. Right. I take up front cash. You take up front cash. Yeah. It's, can you just explain to us exactly how that works? How well, they come in, um, they know me. I mean, I'm pretty well known in the, mm -hmm. in the community. Yeah. Um, and they come in, um, they want me to represent them. Mm -hmm. I tell them I've got a lot of clients on my books. They so, but I'll I'll handle it if they can give me mm -hmm. um, my 
retainer, yes. and I tell them what I want, and they put it in. I put it into my um, uh, client funds, and uh, it tends to get spent pretty quickly. Right. Now, you're telling us this is your own solicitor's firm. Yeah. Um, what's the legal status of your firm? What do you mean by the legal status? Um, well, well you, you'll be aware that um, under English law, we have partnership firms, and we also have limited liability partnerships. I just wondered what, how yours was set up. Well, I'm a sole practitioner. You're a sole it's practitioner. It's my own, my own firm, mm -hmm. but it is limited. Right, it's a limited firm. And um, do you take a regular salary from your firm? Yes, absolutely. Right. So this money that you've been spending has not come out of your regular salary. Oh, no, 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 no. no. This is coming out of the... This uh, is coming out the client. The client. The client Fund. account. Yep. Right. I mean, I'm going to do the work eventually. Yes. I just haven't got around to it yet. Right. right. Melissa, you have some questions? Nat Natalie, I just wondered, um, would you mind me asking you a little bit about um, your if you don't mind me putting it this way, but your consumption of the substances that you described earlier, um, was this a one-off event, or w when did this begin? No, this is something that, that I do. I mean, I, I'm in a pretty high-pressure job, and, yeah. and my clients, they, they expect it. It's what we do. Um, no, I mean, I, I have been taking pretty much the broad, broad spectrum of um, available drugs for a couple of years now. Okay, so actually only recently since you've come into the profession, this wasn't, was this something that you did before you came into the profession? No, this is something that was that built up through my clients. And, and, and so due to the client contact and would you say the sort of stresses of the job? Yeah, yeah. And um, have you sought any form of counselling or help with this? No, I've been able to sort of manage it until now, although mm. things have started to unravel a bit. Yeah. Are you find it, finding that it's affecting your work in any way, or are you finding that you're managing to stay on top of things? No, it's affecting my it's work. Affecting um, your work. I, I have an, a lot of clients, mm. and I don't have as much time as I should perhaps give them. But also, there's been a few days where I've gone to court pretty much worse for wear, mm -hmm. and the clients have been on the sharp end of that. Right. right. Have any of your clients approached you with your recent conduct at work? They've started to, yes. And how are you handling that? Well, I just... They're criminal clients. I mean, they complain. Okay. So, you know, we just laugh it off and go and have a have a few drinks and hopefully it's it's all right but you know some of them I've, the relatives are calling and um, that's sort of a bit more difficult to handle because I don't have the, necessarily the same relationship with them as I might with the client himself or okay. herself. And do you mind me just clarifying going back to the photo that you received mm -hmm. in the mail yeah. um, do you know who it came from? No. Um, and just to clarify the photo just said that you had to get this other client, Sunny Smith, off or else. Yes. Um, can I ask you, Natalie, what did you think or else meant? I think it means they're going to expose the photograph. Yeah. I'm concerned it means I'm going to lose my, my reputation and my practice. Yeah. And, and have you spoken to anybody else about this, Natalie? No, no. So you haven't got any um, anyone else supporting you, for example? No. Because this must be no, no. an incredibly I, I, difficult I, time yeah. for you. It is. No, I live alone. I um, My work is my, my work and my clients. It's my world. Yes. yes. Yeah. And then finally, could I just ask about Sammy Smith? Is, is this a very difficult case, or can you just talk us through... Yes, yeah, Sam, is, Sam is someone um, I've also represented for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, Sam has been charged with murder, and I had a bail application recently, um, which I lost. And so he's currently on remand. Mm -hmm. But 
Um, you know, it, it's actually a pretty tough case.